Hello, my name is Robert Creighton. I'm 36 years of age. Um, I was a professional rapper. I'm an actor as well. I also do voiceovers and stand-up comedy. I look forward to working in all aspects of entertainment. And I love the everyday grind of continuing to grow in the entertainment business. I look forward to working with you. Once again, this is Robert Craig. Hope you have a good day. Well, Lindsay, officers responded Saturday morning to a home on Mossy Meadow Drive. When they got there, they said they found two people outside who escaped and said they needed help. In my 27, all pushing to 28 years at this police department, we never had anything like this happen before. High Point police say there are questions they'll never be able to answer. 45-year-old Robert Jeffrey Creighton Jr., also known as Tank, was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. He was an American actor who had performed in small films, plays, and grew up singing in the choir. He made his acting debut on True TV as Tank on Southern Fried Steam in 2010. He performed in many films such as Let the Church Say Amen, Ant-Man, Barbershop the Next Cut, The Quad, Ballers, The Staircase, Vice Squad NYC, and many, many others. Along with his acting abilities in films, TV shows, and commercials, he also does voiceovers, raps, stand-up comedy, and has an extensive military background. Robert was married to Athelia Creighton, 46, and they shared four children together. Robert Creighton II, Kasim Creighton, Nyla Creighton, and the youngest, Nasir Creighton. The family lived in High Point, North Carolina, and Athelia is well-loved, and according to family, she is genuinely supportive, uplifting, and strong. Her and Robert's children were all special in their own ways and they possess many talents. From the outside looking in, it seemed like a well put together family that was loving and supportive of one another. According to the family, the dad, Robert Jr., was said to have been suffering from some mental issues. And last January, 2022, police responded to the house to serve Robert with involuntary commitment papers. Going forward, on January 7th, 2023, Tragedy would suddenly strike the Creighton household. At around 7 a.m., officers responded to a call in the High Point, North Carolina, in the 2700 block of Mosey Meadows Drive, about two people screaming for help. Upon arrival, officers came across two adults asking for help and had to force entry into a home. According to the release, once inside, they located five deceased people, police said. Of the five victims, three were juveniles, two boys and a girl, and two were adults. All of the victims were pronounced dead at the scene. It was later reported that Robert Creighton Jr. is said to have killed his wife, three of his children, and himself. The three kids that lost their lives were Kasim Creighton, Nyla Creighton, and the youngest, Nasir Creighton. The two people screaming for help that escaped the house were the oldest child, Robert Creighton II, and his girlfriend. Police say Saturday morning, Robert J. Creighton Jr. shot and killed his wife, Athalia Creighton, and their three children who were ages 18, 16, and 10. Two adults escaped the home, according to 911 calls. One is related to the family. Police say officers responded to the home five other times since 2014, one call for a domestic-related incident and another for an alleged assault involving Creighton. This is very sad and unfortunate news. My thoughts and prayers go to the family in this difficult time. This is such a large pill to swallow. So many family members losing their life at one time by the hand of their own father or husband. It's the unthinkable. It's so unimaginable. 
and I feel so heartbroken for this entire family and what they have to deal with going forward, especially for Robert the second, for him to be there and was able to escape and to lose his mom and his siblings and his dad. I know he's going to need a lot of support in the days going forward, and I pray that he has that support in this most difficult time. Please, people, if you're dealing with mental issues or you have people around you dealing with mental issues and they've made threats of taking lives or if you even think that they might do it, don't take it for granted. Don't take a chance. Please get away until that person can get some help or you get the help if it's you um, because we have to take these things more seriously. We have to figure out how to get to the root of this problem. So many people or losing their lives and family by the hands of their own family members. It's like, where are you safe at if you're not even safe in your own home? But again, my thoughts and prayers go out to the family. Please leave your comments below and let me know what you feel and your condolences for the family. And again, I want to thank you for watching. And as always, remember, stay woke. Things change quickly.